the daughters of Sunil Fraser arriving at Risdon Prison. This morning isn't one of their regular visits. There's activity behind the fences as Neil Fraser is handed over, leaving prison at long last, but not in the way she wanted. After 13 years behind bars, Susan Neil Fraser was driven out of prison. Found guilty in 2010 for the murder of her partner, Bob Chappell, Neil Fraser has always maintained her innocence. In the years since, there have been court appeals, vigils and protests against her conviction. This must not ever happen again. Never again. I guess regardless of the outcome, we'll press on and um, continue to fight for mum. She's now found a kind of freedom. But it's as a guilty woman who's subject to a parole period that will last a decade. We're so excited to have mum out from prison after all these years, but I suppose this isn't the outcome we'd hoped for. That's a new, that's a new Upon leaving prison, Neil Fraser and her daughters headed straight to Highfield House to meet with her parole officer. Are you feeling so? I'm sorry, she's unable to speak to you guys. While she may intend to maintain her silence, a possible requirement of her parole, her daughters say the fight to prove her innocence is far from over. This has renewed our energy, having mum out, to clear her name. Neil Fraser didn't have to admit guilt or show remorse to be granted parole. The conditions and reasons behind the board's decision to grant her release still aren't known, and it could be weeks before they're published online. Out in the community, but not free of her sentence for murdering her partner. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.